To the Garden State of New Jersey, all eyes are on the battle for the 3rd Congressional District. Republican incumbent Tom MacArthur versus Democrat Andy Kim. Right now, it is a solid tie. 99% of the precincts reporting in both of them with 49% mm -hmm. of the vote. Our David Splend and Clee Bryan are closely following this race. We begin with David. He's live from MacArthur's headquarters in Tom's River with some late breaking information. David. Yeah, Yuki and Jessica, incredibly close race right now. A spokesperson for Tom MacArthur came out behind me just a few moments ago and said that Tom MacArthur will actually not be coming out at all. This party was for him tonight. Sure, there were some other candidates, but they're saying that he will not be making any news tonight, despite the fact that he's up in Ocean County, not the fact in Burlington County. Let's just take a look. People are already starting to leave right now. This crowd has really died down here in the last 15 minutes or so. We got that word probably about 20 minutes ago that the congressman would be coming out to say something around 1040, 1045. Then, of course, about 10 minutes ago, we get word from a GOP official that the congressman is not comfortable coming out yet. We are waiting to see more information before he does. So we are told, though, Yuki and Jessica, that the congressman serving since 2015 will make a statement at some time in the morning. But right now, we want to check in with my colleague, Cleve Bryan. Cleve, you're looking at Andy Kim's campaign over in Burlington County. Is it a different Different story there. David, things changed quite dramatically in the last five minutes when those new numbers came out. Most of the evening we've been sitting here waiting to get more updated results because only 30, 40 percent of the vote was in and it had MacArthur way ahead. But now Andy Kim in a statistical, practically a tie, 49 percent apiece. I looked at it, less than 400 total votes apart. Uh, between the two candidates and so I just checked in with the campaign for Andy Kim they said at this point there are no plans for him to come out and address the crowd but they also said he's his own guy he may make an impromptu appearance decide to come out and talk so we really don't know what's going to happen most of the people here are still watching the results nationwide what's been going on you see a lot of cheers uh, whenever there is a Democrat candidate that is winning I spoke to some people here in the crowd about their support for Kim and the importance of this midterm I think it's time for a change. Um, we've had a Republican uh, Party for a while here. I've been in Mount Laurel 30 years. So uh, we're looking for some checks and balances. And so, uh, but we're really supporting Andy Kim. The rollback of the health care plan uh, really got people energized and engaged. And ever since then, it seems like the momentum's carried over, uh, especially in my hometown of Willenboro. And so, again, we are just in a tie situation. Andy Kim ahead by about 400 votes. But uh, right now, we can't say exactly what the final count will be. So everybody here is still in standby mode. We're live in Mount Laurel. Cleve Ryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Boy, standby to the wee hours of the morning, sounds like. Okay, Cleve, thank you so much.